Hi everyone, uh, today I would like to show you something um, I was going to do actually. Um, I'm going to show you how you can make easy animations with physics. Uh, so I use for this Cheetah 3D. Um, it's available on the App Store and uh, it is having uh, not that much uh, like on a desk, not that much features, but it is a lot easier. So as you can see that's here the program itself. I'm gonna make this a little bigger here. You can see. And uh, for physics you won't need this line here. Actually I never used this either. So just scroll it down like this. So what you're gonna do is just create a new project and um, what I just did. Uh, and uh, you're gonna need something where the things fall on because if you make now a ball falling down, it would just fall down forever and ever and ever because this has no ground whatsoever. So you're gonna need a plane or a plate or something which is resistant against that. So you can make that bigger. I would recommend you making it a lot bigger. And it's quite easy to handle with these arrows here. So now you're gonna need something which falls down, and uh, I'm gonna use a bowl here. It's just too big for me. A little smaller. Well, okay, that's better. And you're gonna place it somewhere up like this. Then you're gonna take uh, whatever a cube, place it somewhere here, and one more. Uh, let's let's do a ring, and like this. So now you're gonna make them fall down because nothing's gonna happen now if you play here. Nothing will happen. Just sit here. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna select all these, and then you're gonna go up here to this icon and select rigid body. And what this is? Th these are the physics now. But watch this. Now they're gonna fall down. But but look, see the plate also falls down. So we have to make the plate resistant against these. So what you're gonna do for this is you go to the plate and this rigid body icon. And you're gonna select everything which is here to zero. So then it's not gonna move anywhere, it's just gonna stay and it's just gonna stay. So and if you do now, all it does just falls down and they just stay on here. So of course you can make them a lot more complicating or complexer. For example, I make this cube a little heavier. Uh, like let's let's like two, then it's gonna fall down a little faster. See, and uh, I also can make it. Um, uh that it's gonna bounce a little bit let's select again the cube and now it's gonna fall straight to till the plate here nothing's gonna happen either this is pretty realistic for that it's, it's pretty cool so you can also make some changes over here just to select the Position it's quite handy if you want to have something exact. For example, you want to have exact here, I can make it here. And um, I also can do a lot more stuff here, so you can't just play around with this and just look what what's gonna happen. For example, this here. Just set everything to number oh that's way too much um and now we're gonna see what happens just to try around see nothing's happening so wait 
it just falls against it and it's gonna stay. You, you just have to try around, you have to get used to that. Again, that's everything I did with this program. I don't know anymore. Never used anything this. So to render this, you're gonna have a little patience unless you have a faster computer. You're gonna go up here to this icon. And you see, it's trying to render this, but it's very, very slow because I'm I'm doing screen recording too. So you can stop it here when you want to have it stop, and you can save it here, and you can copy it here. And as you can see, I already made two. So this is a very, very simple program, and uh, you can do some color stuff, but that's really all it is. Um, but I think for this, it is it's great, and um, want to get into this so I hope you liked it I hope you now you know now I can do that if you have any questions just left a comment and um, I'm gonna see you guys next time